Hello everyone, Fatima is here. Welcome back to my channel, Fat Vlog, This Duck in America. this is a sitting video I just want to share you something um, my experience or our experience about in regards to social security number and then in connection with our adjustment of status here in the US so we came here last August August 2019 and then we came here for a K1 and a K2 visa and um, after after a week we were here we went to the SSA office to know what are the requirements or to get social security number since I already searched what are the requirements uh, when you get the is is N for social security number so by that time there is a um, miscommunication because when you go when we went there we just asked what are the requirements to get SSN number and then since the in charge she said that we need to get married first before uh, I can get the social security number so we got married October and then after our marriage we went back there and then get my social security number and then what is my big mistake is that I didn't include my daughter to get her SSN so by the time our our i-94 will expire november 13 so i went there october 22 to apply my ssn number so i already have it 10 days um 10 days after i applied my social security number and then not knowing that we need uh, my daughter need social security number for my husband's taxes and then also for insurance so we didn't know that and then we found out I went there at the SSA office to apply her SSN number but then our I-94 was already expired so um, we cannot apply her a social security number we can apply later if we already uh, process our adjustment of status or we already have the green card or the combo card something like that so uh, when when we process our adjustment of status in the form I-765 um, there is a section there asking the social security number so if you have it you will write your social secu security number but if you don't have it if you allow USIS to process your SSN number so you have to fill up the part there so for my daughter I applied her social security number on that form so that's why her SSN number just arrived the other day so this is her um, social security number and the process was four months four months um what I want to share is that uh, SSN number is very important here in the US unlike in the Philippines because the time my mind is the same with the Philippines because in the Philippines you will get your SSN number when you apply a job or when you apply your first job 
that's how you get your um, social security number in the Philippines here is different you need social security number for the taxes you need social security number for insurance that's that's our that's my big mistake because we didn't include her on the on my husband's taxes because she don't have it she just she uh she just have it the other day and then we filed the taxes january so it's too late already and then for us for the insurance yeah it is still needed for the insurance uh, maybe it depends on the what kind of insurance but um, for us we don't have we only have I and we only have I and dental insurance and then they need social security number so they just wait my daughter's social security number until now and yeah that's what I want to share that when you come over if you have a kid if you have children uh, what applies to you applies to them so if you will get your SSN number get their SSN number too because it is needed yeah I never I never thought that it was really needed because because my mind is a number is just for work or if you want to apply a job or if you want to work that's on my mind I never thought that it is needed for the taxes or for um, insurance something like that so my mind that time like oh my daughter is still nine years old so I have time I have a lot of time to get her uh, social security number which is very very wrong which is a big mistake and yeah that's all that's what I want you to share that um, when you come over after a week if you already have your I-94 or the arrival departure records you can go to SSA office and then apply apply SSN number so that's all guys I just want you to share my experience and hopefully in this video uh, you found some information <laughs> yeah you find some some information in this video and thank you for watching and if you if you want to watch my other videos about our adjustment of status i will put the link in the description box so that you can watch you can watch it so if you like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so that you will be notified on my next upload see you all guys in my next video bye bye One, two, three, come on.